Graphing Proportional Relationships, Lesson 3.3b. We can use a table and a graph to find the unit rate and slope that describes a real-world proportional relationship. The constant of proportionality for a proportional relationship is the same as the slope. So, for graphing proportional relationships, these are the steps. We're given a proportional relationship and are told to find the unit rate. First thing we do is make a table that continues the proportional relationship. Second thing we do is draw a graph using the data from the table as our ordered pairs of x and y values. Last, number three, we find the slope of the graph using a right triangle for rise over run or by using the slope formula. So here's our first problem. Every two seconds, three yards of wire is cut by a machine in a factory. Draw a graph of the situation, find the unit rate of this proportional relationship. So it's asking for the unit rate. First thing we do is make a table. We know the time, two seconds, is three yards of wire. That's the length in yards. If we multiply this two times two, we'll get a four. And if we multiply the three times two, we'll get a six. So we have one ordered pair, another ordered pair. We multiply by two again and get eight twelfths. Now we have another ordered pair. Multiply by two again, we have another ordered pair. Now we make a graph with the data from the table. We can make our ordered pairs by multiplying by two because it's a proportional relationship. So we have our table. We have our ordered pairs. We find the slope of the graph using a right triangle for the rise and the run. We have plotted our points using these values as our x and y, our ordered pairs, and you can see we have the point 46, we have the point 812. We can count the rise and the run in units for a right triangle, and we get a slope of 6 for the rise and 4 for the run, and we can reduce this to 3 for the rise and 2 for the run. The unit rate of wire being cut and the slope of the graph of the relationship are equal. We have 3 over 2 yards per minute. Now if you look, 3 over 2 is simplified to 1 and a half. Notice where the y value meets 1 for x on the graph. Here's 1 and it meets the y value right here, and that's at one and a half. Here's one that's in between one and two, that's one and a half. That's our unit rate. The unit rate is three halves, and this is proportional. It's a proportional relationship. We know the point one for x and three halves for y is on the graph because the point one and the unit rate as the x and y, or 1 and the rate for y, is on any graph of a proportional relationship. So here's the origin, 0, 0, right here. And if we look at where 1 for x hits y, it's at 1 and a half. See that? Here we have another problem. Jim rode his ATV at a steady rate of 2 miles every 6 minutes. Graph the situation and find the unit rate of this proportional relationship. So we have two miles, six minutes. So here we have our minutes and here we have our miles. Notice that it says the miles first. In the last problem for the wire cutting, it had two seconds first and then the length of three yards. Now we have the two miles first and the six minutes. So we draw a line going through 0, 0, the origin, and to the ordered pair 6 for x and 2 for y, which is right here. Then we can use a straight edge and go from 0, 0 through that point to make our line. And remember, proportional relationships go through 0, 0. The unit rate is the point where the x value is 1, and that would be right here. Here's the x value for 1, and we can see that it's not half, it's below half, it's one-third. It's one-third mile per minute. If he goes two miles every six minutes, then that means he goes one mile every three minutes, 
Well, that's one third mile per minute. Here we have a table of X and Y values to help us see. And we could continue this coming down with more ordered pairs, or we could find the ordered pairs that would be between the origin 0, 0 and 6, 2. So if we cut this in half, that would be a 3, and that would be a 1. If we double this, that would be a 12, and that would be a 4. And you can see the line went through those grid line intersections. Now be careful when assigning the independent variable. As the independent variable changes, it affects the value of the dependent variable. In both problems, time as seconds and minutes was the independent variable, though given in different orders in the problems. The first problem, the time was given first as two seconds, and then the dependent variable was given after that as three yards of wire. Then in the second problem, the dependent variable was given first as two miles, that length, for every six minutes, the independent variable. So be very careful when assigning the independent one. Remember, the graph of a proportional relationship will go through the origin, 0, 0, and it will be a straight line. We're finished with 3.3b. We're going to move on to c using slopes to compare unit rates. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and it's productive, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.